everybody, it's Deb here with Trace Jolie and Creative Life. Thanks for joining me today and thanks so much for subscribing to my channel and welcome back. So y'all, today we're going to start a new project with this Three Corner Designs Blush Indulgence Collection. And oh my gosh, it is so pretty, you guys. Now, if you haven't seen this paper, you have to head over to the reveal, okay, and check this out, okay, As and you will also see the rest of the kits that are available over at Trace Jolie. So we have a mixed media kit and we have a new card making kit and you're going to love them. They're so pretty. So go ahead and take a look at those that that reveal video. So today we're going to be doing a little project that has a little waterfall on it and you can stick some little memory memorabilia inside of it and or use the little pocket for photo mats and this is something cute that you can give as a gift for Christmas uh, with photos inside of your grandchildren or their grandchildren or your children to grandpa and grandma or you know maybe you have an aunt or uncle that doesn't get to see the kids very much um, just a, but you know some something that you can give to somebody and um, you can they can keep these photos nearby. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is grab your scrapbooking kit and pick out a 12 by 12 pattern paper from the Blush Indulgence. You're going to cut that down to 11 and a half by 6 and next we're going to score this. So you're going to turn this over and score at 5 and at 6 and a half. And this is going to be your base book for to hold everything inside. And to cover the inside, we're going to use the bottom half of that 12 by 12 that we just cut. Next, we're making the inside pocket. So you will need a 12 by 12 plain sheet of cardstock. And we're going to cut that at 10 by 7 and 1 8. And then next, we're going to score this. You are going to go ahead and score this at set with the 7 and 1 8 along the top of the scoreboard. And you're going to score on both ends at one and one eighth on the right and left side of that. Next, you're gonna turn it long ways. Uh, so you are going to have the 10 across the scoreboard and you're going to go ahead and score that at six and then at seven and one eighth, okay? Next, we're gonna go ahead and burnish in all of the scored areas. And where you have the little square there on the sides, on the right and left side, you're just gonna go ahead and notch that out. Now you can bevel that in if you'd like, or you could just cut uh, it, the score line out. And that's usually what I do, is I just cut the score line on either side and just, um, it comes out to be like a little tiny paper or piece and you just peel that off, <laughs> peel that away and there you go. Next, this forms your little box or your pocket that we're going to stick some photo mats inside and this is super cute you guys. Um, you can use this little box or little pocket for cards or whatever you choose to put inside. Uh, I used it for little photo mats as you'll see at the end of the video. So here I'm just placing some glue on the little tabs. I'm lifting up that bottom part, short part, okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and place the uh, long tabs inside of the short tabs. Um, I just think I just liked it better that way, um, but you can, you know, have the long tabs uh, on the outside if you choose to. So here I'm placing the glue on the inside of the shorter tabs and just burnishing those down. And then after this, you can go ahead and you can paper the front of this and the sides of this little pocket. You don't have to paper the back because the back is actually going to be glued down inside of your booklet. Okay, next we're making the lid for our booklet. And you're just gonna use the scrap piece of paper that you, cardstock, that you use to cut out the pocket. And you're going to cut that lid at four and five eighths by eight and one eighth. And then we are going to go ahead and score that. Now to score the lid, you're gonna do a score line that is one and a half inches all the way around this 
uh, lid. And then again, you're going to notch out uh, a couple of the score lines on the right and left side when it's facing long ways. And that is going to form your lid. So it's kind of like forming a little box. Um, so you're just going to go ahead and either bevel that in or notch it out with your scissors. I notch it out from the score lines. And then we're just going to go ahead and put glue on the little tabs, place those tabs on the inside of your box, and then that is your lid. Next I grabbed our little booklet and fit the lid right on top of the little booklet and it fits perfectly. <laughs> so next we're going to go ahead and place tape on the back of our little pocket and I already papered mine. Uh, if you see here you can see a little bit of the paper as I'm turning it back and forth and over um, and placing the tape just on the edges. And then I grab uh, my large tape and I go ahead and put like three strips, I think, in the middle of that. And um, we're, you can go ahead and you can add this now because even if you paper the inside of your booklet, you're not really going to see the pattern paper, so you really don't need it, but you can definitely do that if you want. Next, I place some ribbon on the middle of the inside of the booklet, um, and this is just a tie, so everything ties together. And I went ahead and added some glue and placed my ribbon down. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cover the inside. And again, I am just using the remaining piece of pattern paper that we did our booklet with when we first cut out our booklet from the 12 by 12 pattern paper. And so I'm just gluing this down on top of the ribbon. I did cover the back, but like I said, once I get that pocket in there, you're going to notice that you don't really need to cover the back, but I did anyway. <laughs> then we're going to grab um, our little pocket, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place that on top. And I'm just removing the double back strips off of the tape. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glue. I like to do this because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room to maneuver if I need to. So I just place that right on top. You want to make sure that you, the um, right side end of your pocket is to the end of the booklet. And you want to make sure that you burnish in really well. Okay, next I decided to make a little flap for the right side or the left side of the book. And you're going to cut a piece of cardstock or pattern paper at four and three quarters by six and a half. And we're going to score this at a half inch and at three quarters inch. And then we're going to make our waterfall. So our waterfall pieces are going to be four and a half by four and a half with scoring a half inch on one side of your four and a half pieces. It doesn't matter which side it is. Next, you're going to go ahead and burnish all of the little tabs down. And then you're going to cut your cardstock and cover these front to back if you'd like. And then you're going to go ahead and we're going to put these on. So here I grab some of those um, pieces that are in the scrapbook kit. It is the little um, quarter inch pieces that come in that paper pack and these are so helpful because you could just cut these up and you can place these. Now I placed mine on the back and then I used my pattern paper, my um, card stock from the Blush Indulgence kit uh, collection and I cut those and placed those ones on the front. <laughs> so, But you could do this however you would like. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I did is I grabbed that little flap that we created and I'm putting that down now. Now I am gluing down the half inch on top of the pattern paper there on the left hand side. Next I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paper all of my uh, four and a half by four and a half um, waterfall pieces and I inked everything so I am putting down the first one and you get that you just glue the back of that half inch tab and you place that down in the middle and then you line up each one after that placing the edge of your waterfall up against that other tab okay that you just laid down 
so it uh, forms like a little accordion I guess you would say um, so that is how you make your waterfall and I just love how this looks and we have one more piece there um, and you're just gonna lay that right a little bit more on top of that little half inch that, um, tab that you laid down earlier okay and that's okay though no no problem no worries so everything fits nice on our left hand side and now you can decorate the inside and the outside of your little booklet our lid fits and everything is tied together and it is so stinking cute I just absolutely love this now I will be making some photo mats to place on the inside of that uh, pocket that we placed on the uh, right hand side and um, yeah so just tidy up everything and decorate and here we go Okay, so I went ahead and uh, finished decorating my box and it turned out so cute, you guys. I love how it looks with the little clock and the beautiful flowers. Um, I did use this dressed in trim that is in the card kit that you get um, with the um, card making kit this month. And um, so I went ahead and used that trim all the way around the lid. And I think it looks so, so pretty. I also used it inside of our box. And so now that we are done doing this, um, now I went ahead and decorated the front of our little flap here. And then you can lift this up and you have your waterfalls in here. For some photos and then you have you can use this up here this flap up here for a photo and then you have a nice little area for some little photo mats and what I did is I just created some little photo mats that you can place your photos inside and so um, let's see if I grab this little piece right here so your photo can fit right inside there just like that I used some of the flowers and the butterflies from the um, cut aparts and also the um, perforated flowers that come in the kit. 
so pretty oh my gosh you guys this is so pretty so there's that and I just made four of them uh, yeah, of course you can make many many more that will fit in here so and I just used some of the paper uh, scrap paper that we had from cutting our book and uh, you know uh, making our waterfall and such the paper that I used to create these, I just used the scrap piece of papers. So that's what I used for our little photo mats. So I did use the Dresden trim right here in the front. And then I went ahead and fussy cut this out from one of the cut apart cards. It says shine and it has a little the little flowers on there. So I think that looks so pretty absolutely so pretty this little box is such a great little gift to hold some photos or some memorabilia um, you know for any type of occasion wedding if you want to give uh, somebody like a wedding photos birthdays um, anything like that or just some memories um, maybe some family memories you have that you want to just give somebody so I think that this little box is so cute to hold those and so anyway i hope you liked this little tutorial on how to create this little photo box thank you so much for joining me take care and i will talk to you soon i have all of the links down below for you and um, i will see you next week take care bye Thanks so much for joining me today, y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And hit that bell for future notifications on all upcoming videos, tutorials, YouTube hops, and my Friday Night Lives at 4.30 Central Time.